All right. Garage <clears> door. <throat> what you're about to witness is about to be the worst Dodge Charger review ever. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, it's your boy, LSJ Rod254, and as you can see, we are riding in the Dodge Charger. Like I said, this is gonna be the worst uh, car review, worst Dodge Charger review ever. So, uh, basically, uh, if you don't know me, uh, I am LSJ Rod254. I am a connoisseur it's that sounds fancy enough right i am a connoisseur of chevy shit uh ls motors i own several old schools i'm saying etc 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 they are ls while fuel injected all that good stuff however i have never other than my ram owned a Mopar. Uh, this is my old lady car. It's a 2017 Charger. I really don't be in it like that, but people said I didn't show her car no love. So here we are. <laughs> oh God, this hurts. Um, so 2017. Uh, SXT 2017 Dodge Charger SXT. Uh, that's the V6 3.6. Uh, I don't know the horsepower numbers. I want to say it's like close to like three something. I don't know because I don't really follow it. Because I'm not a Mopar person, I'm a Chevy person. Um, So, this video is, like I said, going to be from the perspective of a person who is not a person, not a Mopar or no car person that is driving the V6 Charger. So, the, uh, I've never ridden in any of the other Chargers, V8s, whatever. I'm assuming that they're just like any other thing and the engine is the only difference. Uh, I won't lie, this car is like mad comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's mad comfortable. Uh, I'm not necessarily the smallest guy, and I fit off in here like a glove. Uh, as far as the performance, uh, I mean, it's not a it's not a demon. It's not a scat pack. Uh, it's not a Hellcat. Like it's, it ain't none of them. You know what I'm saying it's a V6. But like I said, I've never I've never ridden in any of those. But for what I can say for a V6, which is like the V6s of today are not the V6s of yesterday. You know what I'm saying? It's not the it's not the single overhead cam or uh, dual. Over, well, I don't know. It's it's not the 3.8. Like I said, I'm a Chevy person, so you might hear me making references to Chevy shit. So it's, it's not a fucking 3800. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's not. Um, but yeah, as far as acceleration and uh, like get up and go, I mean it has it. Honestly, I mean the car gets up and go. Like I said, it doesn't have it doesn't have the 707 or the red key or none of that shit, but. It's not bad. You know what I'm saying it's not bad at all. So, uh, like I said, I've never rode in them cars, or maybe if I did, like I mean, I feel like there's like unless you're racing or something, then maybe you don't even need it. But you're talking to somebody that's about to twin turbo a fucking C10 street truck. <laughs> so, I mean, I get it, red key and all that stuff. My, my C10 is gonna cost a little bit less. Um, but yeah, man. As far as the, as far as the styling and everything, uh, I mean, it's fine. 
I mean, they all kind of look the same as far as I know. Uh, there were a couple things that we had to do, take this car in for on recall uh, over the years. Uh, mainly, the, uh, there's like some stuff going on with the door panels, just the way that they was made or something like that. And then uh, something else. Uh, other than that, uh, the car now has uh, how many miles? 28,000 28, miles uh, since it was purchased new in 2017. Uh, same time that I purchased my Ram, uh, Ram truck. Um, so, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, as far as features and shit, I might. Um, uh, first has CarPlay, so you got the radio, you got media, climate control, uh, hers has navigation, uh, and phone, I guess you can connect your phone, uh, climate, all that good stuff. All the stuff that you've come to know and love from the boys over at Dodge or Chrysler Fiat or whatever it is you want to call them these days. Uh, just took it to get an oil change. Since we've had the car, I'm gonna turn y'all back around. Since we had the car, the car has been pretty damn reliable. Haven't had a lot of issues with it. Uh, also, uh, not a lot of recalls. Like I said, it's only been like minor cosmetic stuff. Uh, I think we were also able to get the. Uh, I think we're all also the the inf the. The screen had to be replaced. Uh, it was like some delamination stuff, but we didn't have to pay for that either. They took care of it. So overall, man, no, no real complaints. No real complaints. The uh, the only thing that we're or I'm trying to, I guess figure out is I don't know like I guess the of course you know there's there's a V8 sound the V8 rumble uh, I got the Hemi in my truck I love the way it sounds uh, so that's something that I, I guess I would prefer to have that I don't have uh, let's see what else Come on, motherfuckers. Like I said, this car does have the ability to kind of get up and scoot along. So that's good. All right, so I'm gonna pull up to the exchange. Let's see. Let's see. Alright. 
cut y'all back on when I come back out this gas station. I'm trying to get that drink a drink for the night there. All right, so we done ran a couple errands and stuff that we had to run. Uh, so in conclusion, because uh, we are headed back home, uh, it's, it's a pretty, it's pretty, pretty decent car. Like I said, comfy, comfy, roomy, uh, better on gas if you don't get the V8. Um, a lot of people don't even recognize that you got a V6 because they be fucking trying. It's just charger. People see a charger. It reminds me of when I had my Camaro. When I had my Camaro, I had 2011 SS. But because the badge was only on the front and the grill and on the back and the, by the trunk, side by side, people would try it all the time. And it's like, <laughs> like, bro, you don't see this fucking SS on here? Like, who's the fucking respect on my name? Well, the same. The same happens with the V6. Well, in this charger, I've had people try me. Why? It's just because it's a charger. So, if you want a recommend, if you want a recommendation from a Chevy guy, uh, I think this is a good car. Whether it's just you, uh, or you got a small family, uh, looks are there, the uh, comfortability, the drivability, drivability, that ain't even a word, drivability and all that stuff, all that's there, it's all there, so, I'll never own one, but if you want one, you would definitely go and get you one, because LA Chevy Rod 254 says so, in the worst, charger review ever.